Welcome to the Wander Learn Show. I'm your host, Francis Tapon. This is the Bitcoin halving, April 19th, 2024. It's the fourth Bitcoin halving. It's happening today. And the reward is going to be dropping in half to 3.125. So that's how many Bitcoins you get every 10 minutes, or at least the, the environment gets every 10 minutes. And those are the rewards that the miners get for doing all the computation and maintaining the ledger, etc., all that good stuff. What I do every year around this time is look at the stock to flow model that Plan B put out. It was actually at the last halving in 2020 where I critiqued it. It was my first critique and it went quite viral, my critique of it. And then in 2022, uh, when the bear market eventually came in, then a lot of people started patting me on the back. Hey, you called it. You did. You were right. And in fact, I put out a video last year that the model is not dead yet. You can go check out that video up here. I was defending the fact that, well, the model's not dead because I don't consider it dead until it's way far away from its predictions. Now, the problem with the model is that its predictions are all over the map. And we're going to look into that right now. This is the stock to flow model, the original stock to flow model. And as you can see, it's right on track. It came, made a comeback and is right on track. And last year I said, well, it's not dead yet because it probably will get back on track because we're going to get a bull market coming up. That's going to pull it back on track. Listen back to what I said last year. We're going to see that this year it's going to be a year where the stock to flow model will become more interesting as we approach this, the halving. That's going to happen about in April 2024. And when that event happens, I do predict that the price will go up dramatically. Currently, as I'm recording this at the very, very end of May 2023, the price is around 27,800 bucks. As for next year, 2024, I think it's going to be a gangbuster year. I think it's going to be a very strong year for cryptocurrencies in 2024 and probably even into 2025 as well. Very robust year for both of those. So, so it's pretty accurate in the sense that when everybody was doom and gloomy, I was saying, no, it's going to bounce back and get back in line with the stock to flow model. But here's where I say it's going to break. Just like I said before, at 2025 or so, maybe 2026, but most likely 2025, you're going to start seeing it diverge. Now, this, of course, is one of the three models. And we're going to go look at that and see that it's not so much on track if you use one of the more recent models that he produced, produced that is plan B. This one, as you can see, it's a little bit short. It's falling a bit short. It should Right now, the price should be, according to this model, 115,000. And so we're, we're, we're not there exactly. Um, and then finally, there's the, he made a third model called the cross asset model, which of course I'm sure he's regretting that he ever made. And the cross asset model uh, had the $288,000 price. And you can see right here, it's way off that. Right now we should be at a price around 268,000. We're nowhere near that. And soon that model is predicting a price of $5 million. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be very nice. That would be coming in the end of 2025, for God's sakes, price of $5 million. So as you can see, because he's got so many different stock to flow models, he can always be right. Plan B can always point to whichever version is uh, useful or practical. And that's, again, the big flaw with the entire model is that if you have a pr model that is going from a price of $20,000, allows for a price of $20,000 to a million dollars, well, to me, that's not a model. Hey, got a newsflash. I bet you that the Bitcoin price is gonna be between $20,000 and a million dollars for the next few years. Thanks, guy. Thanks for all the, uh, the brilliant analysis. This graphic here kind of shows you where I think it's gonna go. Right now, we're right on the line, again, using his m oldest model, which is the one that's actually the most conservative model, uh, where the price is, has met it. I predicted at the beginning of this year, 2024, that Bitcoin would hit $80,000 sometime this year. And I still think that has a good chance of happening. And I don't think it's going to close above 80000 although I hope it does. But here's my prediction of what I think is going to happen at some point you're going to see it kind of go sideways a little bit up and down it's going to have a surge probably sometime next year in 2025 where it's going to pump up to six figures and and it might happen this year it's possible it could happen this year but i think it's going to happen in 2025 where we're going to see six figure bitcoin i don't think it's going to get to two hundred thousand dollars i'd be very very surprised but i drew it because that's a logarithmic 
chart. I drew it so that it looks like it's almost or hitting around 200,000 or so. But the bottom line is after it does its high point, which I think could be around $150,000 or something like that, then it's going to pull back dramatically and get below $100,000 again. And when it does that, when you look at the, at the stock to flow model, it's going to look terrible. It's going to look like a huge gap between that, just as I'm drawing on this chart here. That's when I can officially say that the stock to flow model is dead, when it gets out of its bands, when it gets out of the lowest of all its bands. It's already failed spectacularly on the cross asset model, as you can see right here. It's way off of its mark, and it's going to look even stupider as time goes on as the Bitcoin price is supposed to be at $5 million, according to that. So that one's failed. That one's debunked. Um, let's look at the uh, what is called the, the, the stock to flow, the regular model, according to this particular chart. Here we're, we're off of it. And again, it's predicting a price of $1.2 million. And that should be in the year 20, end of 2025 or so. Good luck with that. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. And, you know, by the way, don't misunderstand me. I would love all this to happen. I would love to have a million dollar Bitcoin by 2025. I just don't think there's a way in hell that's ever going to happen. And that's why the marvel is going to break. Now, one thing in Bit Plan B's defense is that he did say that he hopes the mar that the stock to flow model will be useful for about two cycles. And in the end, that's probably what it's proven out to be. It's good for two cycles and now it's going to look ridiculous as time goes on. So that's the message I have for you uh, in this having is that the market, the stock to flow model is not dead yet. It will not be dead for about another year or two. And then I will officially call it dead, dead. And I think everybody will, including plan B. He'll throw in the towel probably in the year 2027 when, or maybe at the, the following having, maybe in 2028. Then in 2028, let's just look at that price here. Hold on. <laughs> Five million dollars by, is that 2029? Five million dollars by 2029. And that's when he'll say like, this is his most conservative model. I said 2029, we'll have a Bitcoin of maybe $100,000. I made that prediction in 2020. It was very conservative. It was a 14X return over the decade. And but five million, sorry, plan B, <laughs> that, that's smoking dope. And that's why I've been critique of the, I've been critiquing this model since day one. And anyway, I hope that's helpful. And I'll tune in next year when we're at 2025. And you're going to start seeing the acceleration of the model when the price needs to really push hard to keep up with it. And all of a sudden, the divergence is probably going to increase, but it's not going to be readily apparent until I think when we're going to have a bear market in 2026, that's when all of a sudden the, the divergence will, be, will break and not have those two standard deviations whatsoever. And uh, let me just end with my predictions for 2024. I said that Bitcoin would be doubling in value during the year of the halving so that it would go above $80,000 sometime this year. Uh, but it probably wouldn't close above 80000 I also said that Ethereum, which right now is at $3,000, would end at this magic number of 3333. Sure. And that I said the, the Dow would cl climb up uh, 7%. I still think the Dow will correct heavily in sometime in October or so. All right, that's enough of this. And I again want to wish everybody a happy having. It's happening right now, 2024. This is, I'm recording this, it's 11 hours to go, but by the time you see this, it may have already happened. It's Francis Tapon encouraging you to wander, learn, and stay skeptical about the stock-to-flow model. It's not going to last forever.